Hey there, Cosmic Nerds. So, I am downstairs because it's like after 11. It occurs to me belatedly that I haven't really put any effort into any of our VEDA videos yet. I should probably fix that. Sorry. It's already the 20th of April. Like, what? ah, where did this month go? I made the first of my two Harry Potter World videos, which is a Thoughts From Places, so I'll link to that in the description. It's um, on my other channel. And then I'm going to make a second one. It, this one's only like a little over a minute, but I'm going to make a second one that's just like every footage that I took. Um, so that one's going to be like really long, so I don't think anyone's going to watch it, but that's okay. So Emily asked me if I could go back in time to any time, what time period would I go to or forward? Um, this question, <laughs> I've actually already put way too much thought into this question, like even before Emily asked this, because... It sort of depends on the, um, I guess, the ramifications of time travel. You know, is it, are we think, saying that you can affect that time period? You can change things? Or just that you're visiting them? Or can you be part of them? You know, it's just, can you accidentally, you know, kill your future and pass like, oh gosh, things can get really complicated with time travel. If we're just saying just the most basic time, you can just like go back and watch stuff or forward. Um, I would want to go back because forward, I think is just a bad idea. And plus, like, it'd be cool to see what we have in the future, but hmm. okay. I mean, if I go so far in the future that I won't be allowed to see it, it won't be allowed to see it anyway, so why bother? Um, so I would go in the past, and I would want to see something that we don't know about. Sort of like you were talking about, Emily. I would want to see, like, um, like how the dinosaurs, all, we know, went extinct, or how the planet was created, or just other things that we don't, we don't understand. Um, if you could go back and change things, I would be very, very wary of that idea because, you know, you never know what sort of ramifications that could have. What if you, you know, if you prevent, like, Linkin from getting assassinated, like, that seems like a good thing, but what if then someone, like, has a kid, like, uh, like John Wilkes Booth then has a new, a different life that we didn't know about, like, he has some kid and that, you know, didn't actually happen in real life, and then that kid goes on to like assassinate someone else or you know like it, it could just it could just change the whole world and that that would be bad um so yeah that's my really long-winded answer to that question this is my question for you emily if you could eat go out for lunch with three people one dead one still living who is like a celebrity and one still living who is some other category, like uh, like politician or athlete or, you know, those three people, who would you choose and why? Um, and celebrity, I'm saying, is just like, um, like musician or actor. My dad would probably be um, Jesus, believe it or not. I am not a particularly religious person, but I do believe that Jesus existed not necessarily as the son of God, but that he existed and was like a cool prophet and things that I want to know what he was really like. You know, if the stories that we have nowadays from the Bible and whatever, if they're accurate, if he ever actually did um, marry or, or whatever. I just think that's really fascinating. Um, celebrity would be Emma Watson, hands down. I'm in love with that woman. And um, other would probably be Bill Clinton, either that or John Green. <laughs> um, so, interested to see what you have to say. Emily, I will see you tomorrow. Later.